Well, it's certainly good to have Nolan back uh, against Charlotte. Uh, the first three ball games, uh, I thought we learned a lot about our team. To play the first two uh, with uh, John Shire having like a piano on his back with all the pressure of all the ball handling and making sure that he would not get into foul trouble. Uh, I, I thought he did an outstanding job, and our team did. Uh, we, we saw some improvement, a lot of improvement from Olick, uh, Andre Dawkins, uh, Ryan Kelly. And then when Nolan came back for Charlotte, uh, we were able to put Lance Thomas back in covering a big, the second big. And hit the combination of he and Nolan working together at the top of our defense was outstanding. Uh, I really think that the key to our team right now has been our defense. Uh, and when we have Nolan back, we can put pressure on the ball uh, a lot better. Uh, also, we can move the ball down the court a lot better, and John Shire gets more shots, which is, which is always good. And the play of Singler has been, uh, I mean, he's been as good as anybody, I think, in the country uh, in, in playing. So there's a good, you know, a, a good feeling on our team. We're obviously still missing Mason. And... Uh, uh, that's moving along well, but uh, uh, he, he got checked out uh, yesterday, and uh, he's doing better, but it's still a ways away from, uh, from him being able to, to come back. And so we're headed off on Saturday afternoon uh, to, Rad, you know, to play Radford here in Cameron Indoor Stadium. The game's at 3 as a result of having our Miami football game on TV at noon we pushed the game back an hour to be at 3 o'clock, and we're hoping that we get uh, a huge crowd. The crowds have been good. Uh, we could use even more people there, but the people who are there really have been outstanding. I mean, there, there's a, a great feeling in Cameron, and I want to thank all of you for, uh, for doing that. Uh, uh, again, 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, Radford's picked to win their conference. They have a huge center, uh, and he's 6'11", 275 pounds, so uh, we'll have a little bit of a challenge with, with him. Uh, I do want to congratulate the sign winners, uh, Sarah Kruger at UNCG, uh, Tommy Sand Saunders at Coastal, and Stephen Dallas at Charlotte. That's been a, a neat thing for me uh, to see so many more signs, and uh, I, I think everything's much more creative and let's keep it up. It's a lot, it's a lot more fun. Let's keep having fun. A uh, couple questions. Uh, one is, uh, can I address the changes in Cameron this year? A lot of people have asked that. I think Cameron looks beautiful. Uh, the blue seats up above are classy, and they actually cleaned the floors up there for the first time. I mean, blasted them, uh, I think, in decades. Uh, down below, the padded seats behind the benches I think add a, a lot of class and getting the graduate students in each end zone has been a big cha change. And then on the student side, uh, the, the board, the Leeds board, th that's great. Uh, you all can't see it, I don't think, because you're behind it. But uh, uh, it's very, very good. And we can't do that, we can't turn the lights off for introductions in, in these games because we still don't have lights that turn on and off. It takes too much time once you turn them off to get them heated up again. So that'll, that'll be a big change. And uh, hopefully some of the things we're going to do in the future will, will enhance Cameron even more. Uh, the final question is, uh, a lot of teams use the same offensive system every year. Coaches try to put their guys into the, into the system. And uh, uh, what we've tried to do, they, the question was, what, how do you try to do it to change the system to fit your personnel? And to me, that's the most exciting thing about basketball, is to uh, not to try to put a guy in a box, but to try to create a situation where he can best use his talents with the other guys on, on the court. For this team, that means running more motion offense, screens off the ball, although we're starting to add screens on the ball along with it, so we can have a deeper offensive system. Uh, I like that a lot. Same thing on defense. You know, where do you pick up depending on you know, the talent level and the depth level that you have? Uh, what we're finding out is that 
we can pressure even a little bit more than I thought about three weeks ago. So I appreciate the questions and we we'll look forward to seeing you all at Radford.